Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the first five perfect cubes and cube roots. Now remember, cubing a number means to multiply a number by itself three times. When it comes to cube roots, cube roots are the opposite, the inverse of cubing a number. So we need to think, what number multiplied by itself three times will equal the number under the cube root symbol? Let's jump into the first five perfect cubes and cube roots, starting with number one, where we have one cubed. That means one times one times one. One times one is one times one is one. So one cubed equals one. That means that the cube root of one equals one. Let's move on to number two, where we have two cubed. That means two times two times two. Two times two is four times two is eight. Two cubed equals eight. That means that the cube root of eight equals two. Let's move on to number three, where we have three cubed. That means three times three times three. Three times three is nine times three is 27. Three cubed equals 27. That means that the cube root of 27 equals three. Let's move on to number four, where we have four cubed. That means four times four times four. Four times four is 16 times four is 64. Four cubed equals 64. That means that the cube root of 64 equals four. Let's move on to number five, where we have five cubed. That means five times five times five. Five times five is 25 times five is 125. So five cubed equals 125. That means that the cube root of 125 equals five. So there you have it. There are the first five perfect cubes and cube roots. Now I would recommend getting down and knowing these five. Once you know these five, work to get down six through 10. This is really going to help with any cubes, cube roots, or problems involving cubes and cube roots moving forward. I dropped the link to the six through 10 perfect cubes and cube roots video down in the description, along with some other related videos. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.